Now, we've been looking forward to this the whole morning. Yeah. We're talking about shaping young minds in tech and robotics. That's what the Redham House Bedford View Interhouse Competition is all about. It provides a platform for learners to showcase their talent in the robotics space. Teams of learners aged between 9 and 12 were tasked with uh, completing various challenges. We're going to show you some of it this morning. And some of those brilliant minds joins us this morning with their coach, Brenda. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Brenda. Good morning to you. Good morning, bright stars, superstars, celebrities <laughs> for today, signing autographs after this. <laughs> I want to just mention your name because, I mean, you are you're important. We have to acknowledge you. So we have Michael, Songman, Leah, Christian, Kian. You're also all here, right? Uh, with me today we're going to get to coach in just a moment but Michael I, I want to talk about what exactly we're looking at here and how you all got this going so our robot is the blue crane yeah we decided to name it that because of how the arm moves because the arm moves like a blue crane's head up and down right because not just the string move mm -hmm. we th originally thought of making a claw crane but it was difficult and way too heavy for our for the crane's arm to be able to stay up okay so then kian decided why don't we use a magnet mm. and then we use the, so we attached the magnet to a string using tape yeah and put it on the robot and Once, now it works yes. right because you beat a hundred and what eleven schools, yeah. twenty-four countries. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Over five, I'm telling That's you. A lot. And I'm very interested also in that scuffing, that ice cream. There. <laughs> I will never look at a scuffing ever the same again. Um, whose robotics design is that, and what does it do? Songman, tell us about that. So Michael, give Songman the, the mic. Yes. So this robot. Yes, it's so called the Waste Monster. Yeah, so, uh, can you just hold your mic a bit closer so that the people can hear you? Of course. <laughs> so what we decided we were going to do is we were going to take rubbish from the ocean, mm -hmm. but using a machine. So what we did is we wanted to make something that could <laughs> capture rubbish from the ocean and bring it back to land to oh. be recycled or whatever. So we decided we also wanted to recycle. So we use an ice cream t tin, yeah. as you can see, and then we use two plastic bottles. Uh, so we even out the waste by using bricks on one side, and then we have the motor on the other side. So if you want to take a look inside, we have two main motors. We have our motherboard, mm -hmm. and we have two routers and one gate motor. So how it works. So the gate opens, and uh, then the two motors turn, making the routers turn. So then while it's in the water, it moves forward. Mm. So then the, the rubbish, like so as it goes forward, it captures the rubbish. Right. And then it, the gate closes, and then it takes the rubbish back. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, uh, Coach, we'll get to you in a moment. Let's speak to the celebrities <laughs> for now. We'll, we'll get to you in a moment. But, but Leah, I want to come to you. Leah Mayot. I mean, was this difficult or easy for you to maneuver? Because also when Michael was speaking, he said, Kian had an idea when we got stuck a bit. So there's a lot of teamwork. But, but for you, Leah, was this difficult? Yes, it was difficult, but it was easy at some parts. Yeah. Like adding the ice cream bucket was quite difficult, but making the arm was easy. And what my robot does is it also scoops up paper and plastic from the streets and people's houses. So, and then you can pick it up and recycle it and stuff like that. So. Mm. What I would like to know, Coach, is which yeah. one of these will solve load shedding. We'll get to that <laughs> in a bit. But uh, <laughs> are you guys able to demonstrate for us how, how they work? And, and just remember to keep the mic nice and close, yes? Yeah? All right. Who would like to go first? Scuffing first. Here we go. <laughs> this is so exciting. I like the teamwork okay, so of it all. Uh, just remember the microphone. Songman explained earlier, mm -hmm. and then um, Leah, perhaps share the other mic um, with them so they can use that one instead. Yeah, thank you. So we have our motherboard, and we have our two main motors, and then of course we have our little motor inside here controlling the gate. Um, and then of course we have the motor. The motors connect to the router, 
that obviously that push it forward. Yeah, let me let me help you. What? Yes. Because you're trying to speak and yeah. uh, yes. and demonstrate. You can't do everything. You're a genius, but there's only so much you can do. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yes. of course we need our protection to make sure it doesn't get wet. So we have our little simple protection up against the water. Yeah. Okay, and then we have our coals and stuff. So if we want to demonstrate it, it opens the gate. The plastic and then, will go in. Yeah, so it goes forward into the plastic. Right. So this is the plastic. So it's going through, and then it closes the gate, and it will turn back. And it gets trapped with that. Yeah. Wow. So I can't. I mean, originally yeah. we had a net underneath, but we should have the idea yeah. because it was quite um, interesting how that worked. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, if you really wanted to do it on the actual ocean, you'll need something way larger. Right. And big. Yeah. yeah. So this is basically a small version. Okay. Yeah. This is so interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm sure wow. you are very proud That's of them, Coach. Um, mm. Tell me about uh, the composition of your team and what was your vision going into this competition? All right, so the Inspired Builds competition, I wanted the kids to get exposure and to see that they can actually use any robotics. They don't have to stick to the Lego. They could use other items and mm -hmm. use their creativity when building robots. So I think they did really well um, with um, Songman and Christian's robot. They particularly yeah. told me it needed to be tested in the water because it is a water. And we were not very excited about putting our robots, our Lego in the water, but you know what, you've got to let them run with what their idea is. So yeah. we did it, plastic bag and all. So, oh, man. <laughs> How proud are you though, coach? I mean, 111 schools, 24 countries, and them coming out top, um, you know, of all the competition that lay ahead. How mm -hmm. proud must you be? Oh, it's for me amazing because I know this is their work. Um, I code with my hands in my pockets if I can or teach. So they have come up with the ideas, they have thought of the solutions. So yeah. it's really their own project. So I'm very proud of them. That's amazing. Ken, quickly before we go, we have to say goodbye. Any words of inspiration to other kids that want to be just like you and your team and don't know where to begin or you know, need to do something? You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can do it. You can do it. Be creative. Be creative. All right. No matter how far you fall, you can always get back up. Oh, there man. you Thank have you it. Thank you so much. Amazing. And that's inspiration, not yeah. just for kids, but for all of us grown-ups as well. What a great way to start your Sunday. Listen. We are so proud of you guys. So inspired. Well done. You should be proud of yourselves. Well done. And thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you. Thank you for thank having you so us. Much, Coach. Also for joining us right here on the show. Really amazing to see the amazing talent we have from young people, right? Absolutely. Yeah. We, we are proud of them, as we said, and we can't wait for them to just solve the load shedding issue. <laughs> Please. There you have it. Yeah. They say Minister. they're working on it. <laughs> they're working on it.